Hey guys, Kenny here from Magic Internet Money. On today's video, I'm talking about the whole FTX, Sam Bankman Freed, uh, I guess bankruptcy, fraud, whatever you want to call it. So here's uh, a video. Uh, this is from CNBC. I think it was really well done. I was really happy with it. It's called The Collapse of FTX, Insiders Tell All, CNBC Documentary. Just a quick disclaimer, basement flooded, still waiting on insurance money to do that over. So I'm up here in the dining room, hence the terrible lighting, the backlit, and all that type of stuff. I know uh, eventually we'll get back to my man cave, my studio, and we'll have better videos. So they hit on everything, and they do portray Sam Bankman-Fried as the fraudster that he is, because uh, you never know with these mainstream medias. Uh, but you have people like... Um, I'm forgetting his, head up, his name off the top of my head, but the gentleman that ran, ran FTX US, kind of two different entities, but still all by Sam Bankman-Fried, he basically did a tell-all, uh, everything that he knew he said, uh, nothing like super damning or anything like that. Uh, they talked to people that had inside information about, uh, I guess, what fraudulent stuff was going on. They, they hit on all the people that invested in uh, FTX. They hit on people that lost $2 million, that lost 200000 100000 uh, whatever. And they talked to them and how this affected them. Uh, this is because that's the biggest thing. Like institutions that lost money, whatever. But the individual Joe, like myself, if they lost money, well, that's the ones you feel sorry for. Uh, so you had people that talked about the filing for bankruptcy. One guy talks about getting like, I think it was $19,000 back. So at least he could go and invest that. If it, it, I think it's right here. So this started looking here. at other ones like Mt. Gox and they took almost like eight to 10 years so you can see he's before like, the people even got it. Do I want to wait eight, 10 years? So Begumption had I a gun money right now? goes online to see if he has any options to recover at least some of his money more quickly. I started looking into how, how can I get something for these? And I think that came out to yeah, almost see, around 19 here, uh, Close caption, get that off. So his bankruptcy claim was for 174000 and he got paid out 19000 And basically, uh, this company bought his claim. So maybe they might recover all the money 10 years down the road. But at least this gentleman has 19000 now, which he says he's going to invest in uh, cryptocurrency, which, hey, might not be a super bad idea because you could take that 19000 if you're a smart investor in this bull run and actually um, leverage that into something a lot bigger. But anyway, definitely worth uh, watching CNBC, the collapse of FTX, Insiders Tell All, CNBC documentary. And just on the same note, uh, Coindesk, uh, they put a story out today, said Sam Bankman Freed's $2 million, two multi-million dollar jets may be forfeited. Oh no, that's so sad. Like, yes, it should be forfeited, of course. The guy defrauded people out of billions and millions of dollars, take his jet, sell them off, take anything that he has and sell it off. The two lux luxury jets apparently owned by Sam Bankman Freed, but never used by him, could possibly be forfeited to the U.S. prosecutors uh, trying to claw back assets. Of course they should. That $30 million mansion or whatever, same type of thing. So anyway, do the whole like, subscribe. Um, I'll have updates on this case. I have updates on crypto, crypto gaming, and trading. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.